Hi. Um, so life update time. Um, uh, as most of you guys know, uh, and I think that Caroline knows because I assume that Alex has told you, but I'm going to Japan woo, for a year to teach English as a second language. I'm stationed in a little town called Nishizu, and it's in Shizuoka Prefecture, so it's about three hours south of Mount Fuji, and it's a little, it's on a little peninsula, and it's right on the coast, so it's a beach town, and it kind of looks like Point Reyes, except it's probably hotter there. Uh, it's hotter in Nishizu, I mean, and it's, the population is pretty small. It's like half of Orinda. It's 8,500 people. Which is exciting because I'll probably get to know the community really well and I'll hopefully have a... Like if it's a smaller town then I assume that I'll probably get better at Japanese faster because not that many people there will be able to speak English. Uh, besides the English teacher, obviously. <laughs> um, I don't know what age group I'm teaching yet, but I assume it's going to either be elementary or middle school because the town is so small that I imagine that most of the kids would go to high school in a bigger city. Um, and it's got a lot of onsens, uh, so it's got a lot of hot springs. And it's on the coast, so there are plenty of fish. It also, part of it overlaps with one of Japan's national parks. And it's known to have really nice sunsets. And on clear days, you can get a really cool view of Mount Fuji. Uh, so I'm really excited. And yeah, I'm just happy that I'm in a small little town because I can't wait to go and have my books and, and read and be quiet and really bolster up my Japanese and like run on the beach and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the reason that I'm going to Japan now is because I got rejected from Pixar. And when I was making those videos uh, during VEDA, those Monday fun days, there is a large and loud motorcycle. Okay, when I was making those videos about applications for vlog every day in April, and I was saying, how do you deal with rejection? Like, you should always look on the bright side and you should like keep doing stuff after you get rejected. And you always, if you're deciding between two options, always like just say yes to the first one that says yes to you. And I was thinking about it when I was making those videos and I was a little concerned because I thought, oh, maybe I'm only saying this and giving this advice because I have not been rejected yet. But I have just been rejected, and I have to say that I still stand by the advice that I gave. Um, like, I'm, like, of course I'm sad that I was rejected, but I'm also happy because now there are a lot of things that I can do now. So it's kind of like, it's, <laughs> it's always cliche, but... It is true, I think, that like when one door closes, a lot more open. And I talked about this actually a lot last VEDA, the first time we did VEDA. Um, I don't know if any of you guys remember those videos, but I do remember making one where I talked about how I want to do a lot of things. And it was upsetting to me that choosing to do one thing often cut off everything else and you couldn't do it. Um, but now that I've been rejected, I feel like I can go live in a foreign country, I can go to grad school, and I can still work for Pixar. It's just going to be, like, in a longer timeline. Um, and that, that's exciting to me, and that's why I'm happy. Because even though I was rejected, like, talking to the people who work that, I, that I've talked to and seen their skill in editing, I feel like it is still within my grasp, and it's tangible to me. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, so I'm not going to give up, and I, my friend's friend, had to apply there seven times until she got um, the editing job there, so persistence can definitely pay off. Um, okay, so the second thing that I'm making this video about is, since I'm going to Japan, I am going to do what most people who go traveling do, and I'm going to make a blog and a vlog series. Um, I'll probably do both. I'll probably have a blog on like Tumblr and stuff. Um, I want to set up another Instagram that I can take pictures on and then be really annoying with hashtags and stuff because I don't, I don't know. I feel really uncomfortable using hashtags because it seems very commercial to me, so I don't want to do that kind of thing on my personal Instagram. 
And if I made a different one, like for the blog, then I would just feel like I had a better excuse to use hashtags. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird with things like that. Like if other people use hashtags, I'm like, yeah, go use hashtags. But I feel like I'm being judged when I use hashtags, which is a problem. I probably shouldn't feel like that. But anyway, so I'm going to do a Tumblr. I want to do an Instagram. And I obviously want to do video blogs because that's what we do. Um, yeah, and the problem is, like, well, every jet does that. And, like, how do you, like, bring new material into the mix? And part of it is just being, like, every person is different and everyone has a different personality um, and perspective. So part of it's that. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to make videos about, but... I just know I want to make videos, uh, so I, I still want to do stuff on Pal Town Pals, uh, because I really like this channel, um, but yeah, I'm going to, probably while I'm in Japan, I'll try to post to both channels, I'm going to have different material on both channels. <laughs> um, so one thing I wanted to ask you guys is that I have a couple ideas for like usernames and blog names that I want, but I wanted to ask you guys if you had any really cool ideas. Uh, one thing for sure is that I think a lot of people who make these kinds of blogs, they do like, oh, like, like Dana in Japan or like Japanese, like Japanese something <laughs> like Japan is in the title or wherever they're traveling to is in the title. And I think that that like, I don't want to make something like that because that kind of, it limits it because... I'm going to have that blog, and then when I leave Japan, which will probably inevitably happen, then it's like, well, the name is not relevant anymore. So I don't want to have a name like that that limits me, because I would want to use that account um, in the future, I think, for different things. So I have one idea um, of a name that I would want, and I've actually, like, I already have the name. I have had a secret Tumblr blog for a long time that no one knows about. Um, and I've posted a lot of stuff there and it's kind of, I don't know, I think a couple of you can understand this or like, you know, my personality enough to know that I would like having like a secret account where I can just post whatever I want and no one can see it. <laughs> so that has exist. And that blog has the username that I have already. And I'm very fond of it because it is just very special to me. Um, I don't think any of you can guess it because it's too obscure. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that some of you could guess that it is literary book related. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any cool ideas, because I know that Alex was the one who thought of Pallet Town Pals that one time, uh, maybe I can <laughs> recount the creation story, the name creation story of Pallet Town Pals in a different video. But if any of you guys have any ideas, uh, you should tell me because I'd be really interested. And probably, yeah, around like August or I guess at the end, at the end of July, <laughs> uh, I'll probably set stuff up and like tell all you guys about it and maybe start then. So yeah, if you have any ideas, tell me. And if not, or if none of your ideas really click with me, then I'm just going to go with my with my thing. And then I guess I'll have to reveal my secret blog that I've had for a long time. Anyway. Okay. Uh, that's all. It's Friday, but I can update when I want. And Sarah and I just made a video today, and we're going to post that on Monday, and then hopefully... I'm going to try from now until Japan, I'm going to try to do a Monday fun day uh, because these will be the last Monday fun days when I'm in America, unless something goes horribly wrong with my paperwork and it all screws up. But I think that at this point that I'm pretty sure I'm going to go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. So have a good weekend and I'll see some of you guys at my graduation party and for everyone else, I'll see you guys on Monday with Sarah. Okay. Bye.